Hi. Now, in this question, we've got to evaluate 3 to the power minus 2, 16 to the power 3 quarters, and also simplify root 200 over root 8. Okay, so uh, as usual, if you haven't tried this and want to have a go, give you a moment just to pause the video. When you're ready, come back and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, so how did you get on if you had a go? Well, in the first one, 3 to the power minus 2, you've got to be familiar with the rule that anything to the power minus n, say, is identical to working out 1 over x to the power n. So in part 1, that you've got 3 to the power minus 2, and that's going to be equal to 1 over 3 squared. 1 over 3 squared, 3 squared is 9, so you've got 1 ninth. All right? Now, in part 2, we've got 16 then to the power 3 quarters. And for something like this, you've again got to be familiar with the rule that x to the power m over n is exactly the same as working out the nth root of whatever x is and then raising all of that to the power m. So for this one we take the fourth root of 16 and then we raise all of this to the power 3. And the fourth root of 16, well that's going to be 2. 2 to the power 4 would give you 16. And then we cube that. 2 cubed is going to be 8. Now, for the last one, okay, where we've got to evaluate, then just write it in, root of 200 divided by the square root of 8. Now, for something like this, we need to break these values down. And we use this rule here, that the root of the product, say, of two values, let's call them A and B, is exactly the same as working out the root of a multiplied by the root of b. So if I'm looking at the square root of 200, I'm looking for square numbers that are factors of 200. And I know that 100 you can square very easily. So this is equal to the root of 100 times 2. Okay, so just put that in, 100 times 2. And then this is divided by the square root of 8. And 8 has a square number, which is a factor. That is 4. 4 times 2 will give us the 8. So we can think of this as the square root, then, of 4 times 2. So using this rule here, we can see that this is the same as the square root, then, of 100 multiplied by the square root of 2. I'll drop the time sign, just say root 100 root 2. Divided by, and the same kind of thing applies on the bottom here, it's the same as root 4 multiplied by root 2. Root 4 root 2. And I can see now that because we've got one term on the top and one term on the bottom, we, they share a common factor of root 2, so they can cancel out. Okay? Now, two ways that you could do this last part. You could either divide the 4 into the 100 and get root of 25, okay, which is 5, or you could just take the square root separately. Square root of 100 is 10, and the square root of 4 is 2. Either way, 10 divided by 2 brings you back to 5. Okay, so uh, there's our answers, and just a summary then of the rules that you should be familiar with, okay, that we use when working with indices or exponents. Okay?